Hasta la vista, baby. No! I'm at the world's biggest shooting festival in Hanover, where for two days I'm deep diving into an almost 900 year old German tradition. But is it all about drinking and shooting? As an Australian, I think that's mad. Let's find out. Once a year, rifle clubs from around the world gather here to party for 10 days. Hanover bears honorary title of City of Marksmen. Hardly any other is home to as many rifle clubs. How did this tradition start? And do they use live ammunition? I want to find out, and more. I begin with what a rifle club is meant to be about, shooting. To find out more, I meet with Melina Balzer, a champion markswoman. Gun ownership is strictly regulated in Germany, but there are exceptions. So this is my baby, my air oh. rifle. Wow, okay, awesome. Looking pretty nice, isn't it? Is there some sort of like certificate I would need to like use this weapon if I just came in off the street and I said, I wanted to use this gun today? Yeah. No, this air rifle doesn't need a license on its own. It's interesting because like where I come from, like you, you need to have all these different licenses to even like touch it. Can I actually kill anyone with this? No, the air rifle, of course it hurts yeah. uh, if you are getting like shot with an air rifle. Um, but it's not nearly as dangerous as like the bigger, bigger <laughs> rifles. Um, that's also why this is free to use for everybody. Okay. I'm putting the banging that keeps going on, I'm so not ready. I'm not scared or anything, I'm just saying, like, it's a shock. <laughs> Whoa! It is a 10, it is a good shot, but it's not perfectly in the center. Giving it to you. Okay, okay. Melina just had her shot, which is a 10, the best that you can get. I only have three shots to try and beat that. Wish me luck. The goal is to bring the black dot into the black circle. Get ready for my bullseye. Yeah. Woo! Very nice. It's a seven. It's a seven. That yeah, was very nice. good. Oh, okay, it's not that bad. Hasta la vista. Baby, yes, that was a miss. Congratulations, Melina. Thanks you win. Lot. Thank you so much for helping me. Yeah, of course, you're welcome. And um, yeah, I'll see you later. Yeah, bye. Bye bye. <laughs> now it's time for me to join in the action. And I get to march along with the rifle club in the proper outfit, of course, and learn a thing or two about the origins and traditions of these clubs. Marksmen's clubs appeared in the early 19th century. Originally, they helped defend towns, later evolving into sports clubs. After 1933, they took up arms alongside the Nazis. So after the Second World War, they were prohibited. They were later revived again as sports clubs around 1950 in West Germany only. To the beat of a marching band, we advance to the reigning champion Marksman's home. Every club names one each year in a shooting match. During the festival itself, very little shooting is done. This is more about upholding traditions. <laughs> Strict procedures are followed for everything. This part is called inspecting the parade. This is the hanging of the champion's medal, so everyone can see that a top markswoman lives here. Meanwhile, everyone drinks and dances their fill. And that's not all, the food is coming up. Can you show us what you've got in your pockets? <laughs> For the road. <laughs> awesome. You keep drinking alcohol. Oh, yeah, and now we're going. The next stop is the house of the reigning champion marksman. On the whole, the festival does seem rather male dominated. In fact, the majority of members are men in their late 50s and older. About 25% of women. Some rifle clubs won't accept women members at all. And not many young people show as much interest as Melina Bautzer does. I joined this club when I was 13 because I was searching for like some kind of hobby that combines uh, a great community and some kind of sport that uh, kind of amazed me. Now it's time for me to show them my stuff. Wir begrüßen unseren diesjährigen Schützenkönig Thomas Alfermann mit seinem dreifachen Fein. Cool. Fein. Cool. Fein. Cool. And since I put oh, my heart and soul into it, I'm accepted into the club without further ado. 
Vielen Dank, vielen Dank. Vielen Dank. <lacht> vielen Dank, dass wir können auch eingeladen sind und danke für die kostenlos Alkohol. <lacht> Can you please explain what fine corn means to me? Yeah, the thing that you did so amazing in front of all of us. Um, fine corn means um, it's like a, a good luck wish uh -huh. because it's about the preciseness of the way you are aiming with your rifle. And of course, here too, the drinking goes on. It's a shooting festival, but they're drinking the whole day and I can't keep up. <laughs> yeah, mental. After the day's official parades, the festivities go on at the evening's carnival. Here I can put my newly acquired shooting skills to the test once more. La vista, baby. Yes. Woo. And the world's largest marksman festival has another surprise in store after all. So I've just found the gay people tent and I thought it was really cool so uh, I wanted to go talk to some people, find out why there is even one here. Let's go. Would you say there is a need for this tent? Yes. Yeah. There is definitely because um, there's always people, like even in the shooting clubs, there's people that feel kind of they're the special people, they're maybe queer, they're gay, they're lesbian, they're trans, whatever. And this is part of their celebration, part of them being part of all this. It's not just tradition and all, oh, everybody has to be straight and everything. So it's opening more up. And so everybody parties all together till the wee hours of the morning. Mate, I'm absolutely knackered. This festival isn't just about shooting, but it's also about drinking too. They're very strong in their traditions. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>